the Jagdpanzer 38, more commonly known post-war as the Hetzer. This was a German light tank destroyer used at the end of World War II. An impressive 2,827 were manufactured between March of 1944 and May of 1945, with further variants produced post-war. As such, many survive today, though they are not overly common on film. Most that do appear in the movies are post-war Swiss G-13s and other post-war variants manufactured in Czechoslovakia. But let's take a look at this tank destroyer and highlight a few places it does show up on film. The Hetzer is defined as a tank destroyer, which might make it sound a bit more aggressive than it was. It certainly destroyed tanks, but it was used very much defensively, which is why it was such an excellent design for the Germans' late war, when Germany was largely in retreat. Turreted vehicles are better offensively, as they are quicker to aim at a target while advancing. They can rotate their turrets to aim, rather than the entire vehicle, but they are far more expensive to build. The Hetzer without a turret was an excellent defensive tank destroyer, if positioned in predictable directions or lines of attack where it could wait in ambush. It's best to think of a Hetzer as an anti-tank gun with wheels and good frontal armor. It's meant to ambush, possibly take a couple hits head on, and then maneuver and repeat. This is actually well shown in the anime Ghouls und Panzer, which has a mix of realism and otherwise. The Hetzer's front plate at 60mm sloped back at 60 degrees from the vertical, gave it the equivalent in protection of about 120mm or 4.7 inches of armor. The Hetzer, and other vehicles like it, most notably the Sturmgeschutz, which in part transitioned from an assault gun to tank destroyer, are good examples of breaking the often exaggerated stereotype of German over-engineering. Germany was known for building expensive monstrosities, but their most produced armored vehicle during the war was actually the Sturmgeschutz, which was both a simple and effective design. The Hetzer was born in part out of the Sturmgeschutz's success. In 1943, the main Sturmgeschutz factory was bombed, greatly crippling production. The Hetzer would be built in Czechoslovakian factories, further away from Allied bombers. It helped fill the gap in Sturmgeschutz production. The Hetzer, weighing just over 15 tons, about 8 tons less than the Sturmgeschutz, would be an even cheaper tank destroyer alternative, and an up-armored version of the open-topped Martyr III, for which it was to replace. The Hetzer, with its 7.5 centimeter gun, could take on most Allied tanks if used correctly, at a range of up to 1,000 meters. Ah! We just fixed that! Mass production started in 1944. The Hetzer was manufactured on the older but proven Czechoslovakian Panzer 38T chassis, just as the Martyr III was. This was a reliable design. The gun also used the same ammunition common to the Sturmgeschutz and Panzer IV. The 7.5cm Pac-39 gun was easy to install in a turretless hull. The hull of the Hetzer was likely inspired by the Romanian Marischal tank design. In terms of manpower and cost, Germany could produce nearly four Hetzers for every one Tiger. Still got your ass. Light and powered by a 158 horsepower six cylinder engine, it had a respectable top speed of 42 kilometers an hour with good fuel consumption. The Hetzer's weakness was its side armor which was easily penetrated by the lightest of anti-tank weapons. It could not afford to be flanked at any cost. The Hetzer's best defense was its small size, making it easy to hide and hard to hit. The Hetzer's height is 2.17 meters, or 7 feet and 1 inches, though it was cramped for its four-man crew. Its size also meant it could not hold significant ammo, holding only 41 rounds for the main gun. By the end of the war, 50 Hetzers would be made with flamethrowers, designated Flampanzer 38s. One of its most innovative design features was the remote-controlled machine gun mount, allowing it to be fired from within the vehicle. Alright, I'm Johnny. Thanks for watching this video on the Hetzer. It's a well-loved tank destroyer, but a bit overlooked in cinema. Let me know if I missed any good places it turns up. Have a nice day, and we'll see you next time.